Hello, viewers. This is Kilobytes of Amazing Gaming Channel here, bringing you a Mortal Kombat 3 boss fight strategy video. Yes, I was previously known as Gamertag, but I realized that was stupid, so I moved on. Anyway, this strategy against Motaro works with all characters and is a bit luck-based, but also definitely some skill involved and definitely a lot of strategy and AI exploiting. Mix up your jumps with backwards and forwards so the AI doesn't get too caught on to your strategy. In round one, I got punished for doing that. I wonder what will happen in round two. So here, you see if you get too close to him and do the same thing too much, he'll grab you and punch you, which does massive damage. But occasionally you can put him under this spell where you jump kick him and he just does nothing. Or if you kick him out of the air with a jump kick, he'll be stunned for a couple seconds, and that's when you do a combo. Look, right now he's under the spell. It's not a glitch, it's awesome. See, look, just keep kicking him. Motaro's main... His point, his purpose on the battlefield is to do massive damage, but he still has the same health as most characters. Around the same, anyway. He doesn't take forever to kill, like Shao Kahn in Mortal Kombat 9. There, see, he was stunned for a bit. I could have done a combo there if I didn't jump. If I were to sprint at him, I could have done Sub-Zero's combo, which is the same looking as all the other combos in the game. So, you know, keep landing kicks, keep alternating jumps. There, I knocked him down after he jumped at me and finished it with a nice combo. Sub-Zero wins. Moving on to Shao Kahn. For this strategy, I only was able to figure out a scorpion strategy because that's all the time I wanted to spend. Now this one's a bit more complex. You must land your spear and do an uppercut, then immediately sprint at Shao Kahn and then double tap X or A on the Xbox, X on PS3, A on Xbox, keep running at him after you uppercut him after the spear. So it's XX, back back X, and that's PS3 buttons, A, A, back back A on the Xbox. And then, uh, yeah, that's which that's the button inputs. That's all you really need to do. You press L1 or LB to sprint at him after you land your uppercut, which, by the way, is down and square. And that's X on Xbox. So watch what I'm doing here. I lose this round. Sorry for spoiling it. I know it's so intense. And, uh, yeah, I love those audio glitches. Uppercut him after he does that shoulder charge. Sprint at him. Light punch, light punch, spear, sprint at him, light punch, light punch, spear, uppercut, sprint at him, light punch, light punch, spear, uppercut. You just can continue owning him like that. But you have to make sure you're good on your inputs, otherwise if you do three light punches, he will block and you will not land the spear. Gets pretty intense here. Finish it with a gay looking sweep. I'll let you listen to it. I'll actually shut up this time, unlike the last video. Na 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 Scorpion wins! Arcade Coco! Shell God is no more! You are the ultimate MK3 champion! Yeah! That only took me 70 bloody tries and it wasn't a waste of my time! Woo! Yeah, I have no idea what these lost treasures are or what they do. Uh, apparently you can unlock characters somehow in this game. Maybe I should have clicked Raiden over there. But anyway, yeah, um, so click Raiden when you get that, if you for some reason go for this trophy. I, I, this game's alright, I, I should hate on it a bit less. And of course you get Scorpion's story after you beat Arcade with him. Not gonna read that, you're probably not gonna read it either, because that requires brain power and energy! And who wants to use that reading? Especially when it's about Scorpion's story. I don't know. Some of you out there might be interested in it, but I'm not. La 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 la. Sorry. It's an addiction I have. And then after the credits, uh, there's another thing that's similar to what happened immediately after the game was beaten, where you select something. I don't know why I'm showing these credits. Okay, now I skip to the end of the credits for some reason. I think it's for commentating space. Anyway, yeah, here it is. The Enter an Ultimate Combat Code. I have no idea what that is. You should find out. Well, viewers, thank you for watching. This has been Kilobyte of Amazing Gaming Channel here, teaching you how to beat the MK3 bosses. I will teach you how to beat MK2 soon. Thank you for watching.